Hello, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to use TI-30XS to do some calculations. You may have a different calculator, such as TI-30XS 2S. However, please continue to watch this video. This video will help you for your statistics calculations in the future. You can see the first problem we have on the right side. We are trying to find a mean from two numbers, one and two. Finding the mean is the same as find an average. It's very clear that one plus two is three, three divided by two is 1.5. If you try the calculator on the left side, we do one plus two divided by two. Since we have two numbers, enter. The answer is two. We just did the calculation that we know 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 divided by 2 should be 1.5. What's the problem we have right here is when you input your calculator, you must put the parentheses for the numerator 1 plus 2 close parentheses divided by 2. Now we get a 1.5. So the first calculation we did right here, because order of operation, the calculator did 2 divided by 2 first, which equals to 1, then 1 plus 1 is 2. The best way to solve this problem is, we can first do the sum of 1 plus 2, which you see right here, summation of x. x is a variable, x could be any number. So now we assign x to be 1 and a 2. So the summation of x is 1 plus 2, which equals to 3. When we get a 3, now we're going to divide by how many numbers we have. So now we have two numbers. We divide by 2. Result is 1.5. Let's look at the second problem. Second problem, we have one, two, three, four, five numbers. And first, we're going to do find a summation of those five numbers. So we're going to do two plus four plus six plus eight plus 11. Then we find a total of that. The total is 31. Let me just type right here, 31. After we get 31, we can continue our operation to be division divided by numbers we have is 5. So n is 5, so the answer will be 6.2. Number 2, you're going to see formula Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR in five number summary, problem we have here is 11 plus 1.5 times 5. By order operation, we should do 1.5 times 5 first. However, our calculator right here is pretty good. We can do right away by just typing 11 plus 1.5 times 5. That's going to give us our final answer. Number three, we have one minus four, then square. Remember, one minus four is a negative. One minus four will equals to negative three. Then we square it. A negative number times a negative number will be a positive. So one minus four square give us a positive number. So how we do that? We follow order operation. We're going to do inside first. So we're going to do one subtract 4, which gave us negative 3. Then we square it. There's a lot of ways to do that. You can times negative 3, give a 9. Or you can just memorize that. This always gives you a positive answer. So you can also do 3 times 3, or 3 squared, give you 9. Let's look at problem number 4. This problem looks hard, but follow order operation, I'm going to do the inside first. 
So inside we have is 1 subtract 0 0.2. So 1 subtract 0 0.2, which should be 0 0.8. Now I get a 0 0.8. We starting from the front, we have 7 combination 2 times 0 0.2 to the second power times 0 0.8 to the fifth. So we're going to do the 7 combination 2 first. The combination is this function right here, probability. So we're going to type 7. Choose the probability. There's a 3 we can choose. So we're going to choose the second one, which is our C. So we're going to type 2. Uh, how many we're going to choose will be 2 right here. So we're going to type 2. Enter. 21. So I'm going to copy this number right here first in case I forgot. Right. Or you can just continue multiply. So uh, multiply. The next one is 0 0.2 to the second power. To the second power, you have to use this power of 2. You can push Enter key right here to get what the result from the first two multiplication. Then continue multiply. The last one will be 0 0.8 to the fifth. Now we get the answer. Answer is 0 0.27525, uh, 12. Uh, depends on, on your class. You may round the number or change this number to be percentage. Number five, you will see this type of calculation in confidence interval. Our problem is 4.5 plus minus, plus minus sign right here, meaning is we're going to do one addition and one subtraction. So addition right here will be 4.5 plus 1.645 times 0 0.2 divided by a square root of 45. Subtraction will be 4.5 subtract 1.645 times 0 0.2, then divided by square root of 45. By order operation, we know that we should do this multiplication division first. So I'm going to leave 4.5 on the left side first. In the future, you're going to know that we give a name for the this part which we call this is E. So that's going to help you. We're going to do E first right here, then add to 4.5. So now we're doing 4.5 plus 1.645 times 0 0.2, enter, divided by Square root. Square root is right here. So we have to use a second square root 45. Now we get a result. So I'm going to run to 0 0.049. So I'm going to get a one answer right here, which is 4.549. The second answer will be for the subtraction. 4.5 subtract 0 0.049. Okay, let's do this on the calculator. So that's going to be 4.5 subtract 0 0.049. This gives us 4.451. If we give an in interval, that's going to be from 4.451 to 4.549. Number six, you may say this in the future. So let's look at the calculation we have. So on the top, we have 12 subtract 13.5. So we have a whole thing divided by this line right here is the division here. 
divided by the whole thing down right here. So the top is 12, subtract 13.5. We have to give parentheses. Divided by the whole thing down right here, we also give parentheses. That's going to be 0 0.2 divided by square root of 45. 0 0.5 divided by square root of 45. We've done that before in number 5. But here we have a different problem, so we're going to do a different way. So first, I'm going to follow here to input into calculator. That's going to be 12, subtract 13.5, close parentheses, then divide by open parentheses, 0 0.2, divided by square root. So square root is here, second. 45. Close parentheses. Now we solve it. See? There's sometimes we have a problem when you have wrong input, result is incorrect. Let's do one more time. We can check right here. Oh, I see that. So here I input wrong. All right, so let's clear. Forty-five. I use the right side to make sure my close parenthesis is not inside. So now I give that enter. Perfect. So now I get an answer which is negative fifty. Uh, let's write it down. Negative fifty point three one. One five. Now, if you don't want to deal with the parentheses, let's look at the second way we have right here. So what we are doing right now is we change the division to be multiplication. When we do that, we have to times reciprocal of the fraction right here. Right? When we divide a fraction, we can change to be times a fraction. So now it becomes square root of 45 over 0 0.2. We're going to follow the same way we did in number five. Let me clean right here. So that's going to be 12. Subtract 13.5. Enter. Times a radical of 45. So that's going to be second square root 45. Sorry, I didn't put wrong. Hold on. So let's one, do one more time. That's going to be times Second, 45, enter, then divided by 0 0.2, enter. So we're going to get the same answer as the first one, but definitely I think the second one will be better. Thank you.